Hello. Um, I think I'm online. Oh, this always happens. I have to wait for Twitch to catch up just to make sure I'm online. Or um, I think I, I think I'm offline. I'm paranoid like that. It's caught up. I'm online now. You know exactly what my time delay is. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we're back. We're going back to the Fortress of Goth. I've no uh, new families to add today, so we're just going to go straight into it and uh, get to the nitty gritty. Oh, you're going to see the human side of Connor today because I'm really exhausted. I've had a, a long day of work, so let's let's get the energy up and push through this. We'll, uh, <laughs> well, no, not push through. That makes this sound like some sort of chore, and I, I'm going to enjoy it. Like this is it, this is a welcome break in. Um, in a long day. So, what's going on? Toddlers cannot be left at home. Should a nanny be hired or should I send them to daycare? Go to daycare. Okay. What is going on here? Did... Was everyone in work when I stopped playing last time? They must have been. Okay, I think that's what I did. I emptied the house. I got everyone to go to work. Um, are you working hard? You should be working hard. Look, I don't care if you're uncomfortable. Oh, he's going to get promoted, actually. Um, no, you can go normal. This is good. We... Did Hester just acquire some skills in daycare? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh. So do these tick up? No, that one's ticking down. That's not good. It went, it went down a percent. Oh well, we'll see what happens anyway. Hello everybody in chat, how are things? Um, right, what are we going to do today? Um, Eleven. Eleven is approaching her uh, teenage years. She is on the cusp of womanhood and we have to make sure she finishes becoming a creative genius before that happens. Should Polly invite over her classmate Jeffrey? Okay, okay, why not? Polly also uh, has to complete hers. It's not as urgent. But look, she's making friends by herself. Polly's a B student. Okay, she's doing well. This is Jeffrey. This is apparently uh, Polly's friend. Jeffrey Causey. Let's go uh, talk to him about school. How, how friendly are they? Not friendly enough yet. Okay, we can work on this. And you are too sleepy, Eleven. Okay, you go straight to bed. We'll... What's she trying to do? Cry over the dollhouse? No. Okay. He was asking... Well, saying... They wonder what the... Um, girls human disguises will look like I'm excited to find out once they're old enough we can pr presumably tailor their human disguises to look like whatever we like um I don't know we'll, we'll give them good ones once they're old enough I'm not sure that'll happen this episode though it might Eliza's spirit is fading away Eliza's a dog I don't know Eliza that's fine um We've got six days until Polly ages up. I don't think we'll get to that in this sit session, but you never know. It's entirely possible. Okay, let's let's keep chatting with this guy, this uh, Jeffrey character. There we go. Th they'll be fine. I know a Jeffrey in real life. Uh, he's pretty cool. So presumably this Jeffrey should also be okay. At the very least. Let's see if we can brighten his day. He's not really going for the jokes, old uh, old Jeffer, Jeffer McJefferson here. We're just going to have to keep it friendly, I think, rather than funny. Uh, brighten his day. No, go into bed. Look, oh, she's tired. Okay. Sorry, Jeffrey. You've missed out. You had your chance. You could have been a part of this legacy challenge. You could have married her when you grew up. Oh, okay. He's cleaning the floor, though. That's nice. Bagel Headbutt says Jeffrey has a really smug walk. Does he? 
Let's let's see. And Kando Kaz says hello. Hello, Kando Kaz. Oh, he is he is a little smug, isn't he? I think maybe it's the hair. I think he's got a whole sort of vertical thing to the front of his head that sort of makes him look smug. It's both his chin, nose, and the quiff of his hair. It's like a combination. How are the skills going? Does, they do gain skills at daycare. That's fantastic. Okay, well, we can very much get on board with that. It looks like Monty's in work for another while. Um, the girls are in bed. Oh, you've got a bit more in. Jeffrey, come on. You're letting me down now. We're going to get up and make friends with Jeffrey anyway, just because now is the time. Can we do something together that will raise our social? Like, oh, let's just talk about animals and stuff. <laughs> and vampires. I'm sure Jeffrey likes vampires. He seems like the kind. He's wearing a black t-shirt. That's enough. He's practically a goth already. Um, Oh, what what else can we do with him? Ask him about his day. Keep asking him about his day. The, the, the handy thing about asking someone about their day is it takes part of your day to get to ask them so they automatically have more to speak about. You can just keep the conversation completely self-referential and it'll just go on forever, which is fantastic. It's just... It, it, it's an it's efficient. It's self fueling conversation. It's, uh, he's a vegetarian. Okay, that's Je that's Jeffrey's only trait because he's only got one trait as a kid. His one defining thing in his life, the thing that sums him up most of all, one hundred percent, is vegetarian. Which I don't know. Vegetarians. I mean, I admire I I admire the dedication to a cause. Jeffrey, but at the same time, if it's your one defining feature, I, th I think maybe you need to find other interests as well, like branch out a bit. You're defining yourself by and by like a, what's essentially a limitation. I think rather than define himself as a vegetarian, he should define himself even as a vegetable lover, someone who likes vegetables rather than someone who doesn't eat meat because they can be the same thing but you know you the in one of them is more sounds more um oh my god look at monty this is amazing he's got a bionic arm now and a little like apron to shield his loins from uh, any sort of radiation in work although to be honest we could do with irradiating his loins a little bit because um well, we've got three kids already. We don't really need any more. He's got loads of energy as well. He's just had a great time at work. What does he need to get a promotion? More breakthroughs. And he's level seven now. Did he get anything like a prize? We got a hygienic decontamination pod. Is that fancy talk for a shower? It is. An expensive shower. I don't know. Should we keep the shower. The unabridged slot says the fastest way to build excuse me, the fastest way to build relationships is cloud gazing or stargazing. Leave them doing it and they'll build up values. Oh, that could be pr pretty handy. I'll give that a shot. Uh, the new shower, it seems really nice. I'm not sure, should I sell it or should I keep it? Hygiene 9, stress release 5, discomfort. I think we need an, a super reliable shower, to be honest. I think maybe... I'm going to keep this one instead of this shower. Why don't I put this one in? And I'll just have to darken it to fit in with the bathroom. But yeah, that'll do. Just, um, you know, save us a bit of money. Now, okay, so we're going to get these guys to cloud gaze for a while. If, oh, she's she's got just enough energy, so. Yeah, they can go cloud gaze. 
Spice is tired and needs to sleep. You are... Monty's hungry, that's all. Okay, he's... Oh my god. Well, resume this grilled cheese, I guess. You've, ob you've obviously paid for it already. You might as well eat it. Um, Polly, what's wrong? Where, where did Jeffrey go? Jeffrey? Jeffrey, Jeffrey. There you are. Listen. Listen, Jeffrey. We're going cloud gazing, Jeffrey. Oh, she's too, t I think she's too tired to cloud gaze. She can like sleep cloud gaze. There we go, look at that. They're having a great time. And you, you're, you'll be awake by now. Eleven, you're more refreshed. You need a shower. Try out the new shower. Oh, here we go. Actually, no. I wanted you to take a thoughtful shower. We need to get you inspired. So that you can uh, draw one the new type of picture or whatever it is. Hester gained a communication level. Great. This is good. Uh, Hester, I need you to go play with something. Stack those blocks. And have fun. Polly, yeah, th you can go to bed now. Eleven, you are bored. Okay, listen, can we draw the extra thing? We can. We can draw a monster. I don't think we need to be inspired to draw these. No, we just need to draw all five types. So, this is okay. Hmm. Let's see. There's a few comments about the shower in chat. Uh, Sam to the Jane says, The shower can be one of the things the family keeps throughout the challenge in honour of Monty. That's true. It can be a monument to Monty. A monument. And Bagel Headbutt says, If I colour it red, it'll look like a, a UK phone booth. Ooh. Okay, well, that might look interesting. It'll bl it'll match the wallpaper as well, actually. Let's see what it'll look like. If we do it blue, it's got a sort of TARDIS look, actually. Let's put it blue. Because, you know, that's the best kind of, uh, kind of phone booth. The time-travelling kind. Um, Hester is... Okay, Hester needs a bedtime story. Where are you, Monty? I want you to uh, read Hester to sleep. She needs you. Eleven, did you... You finished the drawing. She finished the drawing. She didn't finish the drawing. Come on, just finish the drawing. Eleven, do... Oh no, she needs to pee. Look, if you need the bathroom, don't go watch TV. Looks like Spice's relationship with um, Sir Bonington died. <laughs> Goodbye, Jeffrey. We'll see you tomorrow to resume this friendship thing. Because it's the weekend now, of course. Who's this? Who are you? D disturbing my house. It's, it's not even telling me. Terry Knotts. Is she one of these? She is. Okay. Terry Knotts is a woman, apparently. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it was a man. When I grow up, I want to be a ninja. Okay. Um, start practicing your hiding. There we go. Um, now, what do we, what can we do to get breakthroughs? Listen, why don't you go read? Um, what's a good book? Reel her in. Go give that a read, Monty. Oh God, look, Terry Knotts is haunting a tennis ball. Is that done? It's done. Okay, we've got very little left to do to um, finish Eleven's aspiration. That's good. Oh, is Terry, Terry's cleaning the toilet. Okay, this is good. She's the good kind of ghost. Um, we don't need this anymore. But as Hicklable told us in the last um, in the last session, we should save these things in the inventory rather than sell them, so that we don't have to buy them back when more babies come along. They can just kind of be um, reused. 
I've got a lot of money. I think um, I was talking about adding on an office or a gym or something. I think now might be the time. Let's see, how, how does this place look and where would an office slash gym go? Hmm. I think I can make this work. I have an idea. But. I don't know. We'll see. Let's uh, go into build mode here. And go down a level. Actually. Hmm. I want to get rid of this window temporarily. And. I'm going to move this down a bit. Does that work? Hmm. Nearly. No, I'm going to move it down just one little bit. So we have our window in there. We can do that kind of thing in there. And then I want to get this a little bit longer. Maybe like that. Yeah, I think that's about the right length. And the corridor it might turn here maybe, I haven't decided yet. But what I want on the end is if we can do uh, something like this. Maybe we can build a tower here, because I noticed that there are new roof shapes here. Like, there's an octagonal roof shape that I really want to try out. So if we can have this room here, nice and uh, octagonal. Does that fit? No. Is that... Oh, yeah. Look, that's a perfect fit. Kind of. I mean, we're going to have to patch up this bit, but... No, um, how did I manage to copy this thing before, and now I just can't do it at all? There we go. Do If I do um, a bit of that, then... This is our tower now, over at uh, this corner of the house. Well, I say tower. It's one story. It's, you know, it's a little bit flat. Um, and let's see. Oh, I didn't move this roof. If that roof is there, then I can maybe do this. Does that look right? No, something's wrong there. Um... I don't think I need this corridor to be as long. Oops. I've done something weird. Hmm. I think maybe I just need to move this room like that. No, because I still need room for the corridor to go down this way. Although, oh, the, maybe the corner can be inside the turret, if that'll work. No, I don't think it will. Okay, no, it's going to be like this, and I will just uh, fix it over here like this, temporarily. that uh, this will be a corner here. I never really have corners in my hallways. This will be kind of interesting. Flora Ariana says, hello. Big fan of your legacy challenges. Thank you, Flora. I'm a big fan of the people who look at my legacy challenges. Where did the front door go, Lou asks. I have no idea. Into the inventory, maybe? No. 
Okay, um, well spotted. We could have all ended up being trapped in the house and dying. Um, hang on, let's control Z back to when it was there. And just so I can get a copy of it. Oh god, it disappeared a long time ago. Okay. I know which door it is now. Um, it was called something the bearded trickster door. And it was a bit like that. Store the bearded trickster. Yeah, there it is. Can't intersect with... Oh, okay. Oops. It seems my uh, meddling has moved a few things around that weren't where they were. Um, there we go. That's just because I was resizing things in the house. It um, obviously forced some kind of refresh. I don't like these lights here. In fact, I think I want more of these. <clears throat> if I can put one of these at each of these points and then maybe do I need one here on this corner that kind of works there's still something weird about this tower I'm just not uh, not feeling it yet I think I do need to make the corner be inside the tower so it goes like that and then maybe there's a turn but what do I do here like that that's not going to work now we'll stick with this for now and I'll figure it out later if there needs to be something different um hmm I don't know. Well, we get it. Bentley's going around, and I think Jackson's in the graveyard. Yeah, um, Jackson is buried out here. I don't. I'm not. I don't remember who Jackson sh Schmooze is, but he lives in our graveyard. He's uh, well, lives. He dies in our graveyard, and um, yeah, we'll. He he he's attracting a lot of fans. I think we'll leave it for now. I'm going to come back and tidy that up in a minute. Um, I'm I'm just going to continue living until I find some inspiration to keep going. Yeah, I really like this whole corner thing. Eleven's going through a phase. Oh no, Eleven! Don't, don't. Here, let's put this in your inventory. How many drawings does she have and how much money can we get for them? A little bit. Okay, she's got a violin. Here, Eleven, I have an idea. Go take, take a thoughtful shower. This will sort out your phase, maybe. You need to pee? Go pee then. Is she going to the right toilet? She is. Good. Monty had, another, had a uh, breakthrough. Perfect. He also needs to pee. Not enough toilets in this house. That's um, something... I'm realizing. Okay, Eleven, are you inspired? No, she's energized somehow. Well, I need you to go in here and I need you to uh, play your violin. Go on. I need to get this uh, creativity skill up so that she can finish her aspiration. We've got all weekend to do it, it'll be fine. Okay, you, Monty, it's, are you going to bed? He, he needs to go to bed. There you go, have a bit of a snooze. Um, okay, let's take another look here. Hmm. I 
I have a, a cunning scheme. I think I've got it. We probably don't need a diagonal inside here. We can just... Uh, Here we go. Something like that. I'm not even sure we need that. Um, okay, the corridor is going to be there. That's going to be the sort of corridor divider. So if I... Uh, yeah, that's good. That works. Okay, that's a wall I can live with for now. And uh, we can change it later if we need to. So let's just stick the floor down. Um, actually, in here, it's going to be a separate room, but I think... what we're going to do is have archway doors so like uh, if we can get a big one is there any like three thing archway I'm sure one of these maybe oh but I think I need my ceiling to be higher for that well let's uh, raise the roof so to speak oh look there we go that's what we needed and there'll be another one there. It's not going to go anywhere yet, but that's just the kind of thing we needed. How does this look outside? Little weird, but it's fine. It it works enough. Um, and this can be our office in here. Like a sort of home office where we can... Uh, I don't know, what, what would we do in the office where... We'll have a computer anyway. It's it's the computer room. Um, all right. Do I need windows on the tower? I think I do. I think someone suggested that it should be an archer's tower so we can like shoot intruders, which I completely agree with. And I think these are like archer's tower windows. So why don't I put these onto the corners? Like that. And it needs a light. Uh, one of these, maybe in the middle. Is that the middle? I think it is. Close enough. And there we go. This is going to be the uh, office. So we don't need our bookshelf out here. What, what's in our inventory? Ah, uh, not, not much. Now, we need to make this more office-y looking, so I think an office needs a carpet as well, much like the hallway does, but I think this should be a sort of, um, or, oh, we could do a sort of wooden floor as well. Yeah, I think actually a dark wood floor, and if we can get the walls maybe full wood panel. Something like this, but can we do it darker? Yeah, that's kind of nice. And um, the main furniture we need in here right now is to put in a desk. A nice fancy computer desk, a sort of dark one. Like this? No, it's not dark enough. Um, I think that might actually be less dark, but it gives the illusion of being darker. Actually, let's just go through them like this. That one's not bad. That's okay. Oh, that's dark. I think that. Um, it's the most gothic looking one. And then electronics, we need a computer. Not a fancy one. We can just put on one of these ones. And then uh, for comfort, I think 
a nice office chair. There we go. It, did I sell the bookshelf? I did sell the bookshelf. We need a new bookshelf as well. So, um, I don't know. We'll just put one of these ones in. This doesn't look like a very gothic bookshelf, but it's temporary. We can fix that. Um, we're down to two simoleons. Great. But we have an office. So, I don't know. It, it's a net win. I think. Um, Eleven is playing her violin. Polly is up watching TV. Polly... She should be doing her homework. Or even better, she should be texting Jeffrey. Send Jeffrey a happy text. Just send him a regular text then. I don't mind. Just We have, we have to keep Jeffrey on side. You can... Actually, go take a nap. We'll call him over in the morning. I don't know if she can sleep while her sister's doing violin practice. Oh, she can. She's used to it. Eleven is a very loud snorer. Um, no, she's she can't. Now go back to sleep. Okay, you can... Eleven, you're... Oh, she's nearly finished. I'll just wait till she's got this point. Great! Okay, Eleven finished her aspiration. So we have to pick a new one for her. We're not going to work on this at all, um, but if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. Um, Lou is asking, where in the chronology does The Sims 4 fit? Because Sims 3 is before Sims 2 and stuff. Um, I think The Sims 4, as far as I know, is set at the same time as the original Sims, but in an alternate universe, or that's what I heard somewhere. Oh, Unabridged Sloth has basically said the same thing. Yeah, that's um, pretty much what I heard. Any ideas for the aspiration? I think... Well, her sister's already doing social. Um, why don't we just... I'll close my eyes and click on one. Okay, my mouse was under social, but uh, miles away. There we go. Okay, she's social as well. Oh, Hicklebill says mental. Okay, I'll change it to mental. Why not? And then you can go to sleep, Eleven, because you finished your aspiration. Your childhood is effectively over. You can enjoy childhood retirement from now on. Um, child retirement. Actually, in The Sims 2, I remember once getting um, a toddler to permanent platinum. And I've, I've, it, the lot was bugged. Basically, they learned skills really, really fast, even though the clock, like as if it was on speed three, even on speed one. So um, I exploited that and got them to permanent platinum aspiration really early. So I got a message saying that, you know, oh, whatever their name was, um, Billy Bob Simerson has complete, has reached permanent platinum aspiration. Well, I guess I've done everything I wanted in life. Time to just relax. So um, he had an, a life entirely of leisure. Let's invite Jeffrey over. It's the weekend. We can do things like that. Jeffrey's sleeping. Oh, sorry, Jeffrey. Oh, no. It looks like we need to get some food for the baby. So I'm going to get you to do this if you go get a ham and cheese sandwich Polly because you're the only one awake right now stop wrecking the floor this is an expensive carpet we rented it from a Vegas casino okay I'm taking your sandwich away your sandwich now belongs to Hester Hester you can eat your sandwich Polly Polly needs a shower but Oh, I suppose she can go take one before Jeffrey gets here. Spice, how are you? Spice also needs a shower. We're filthy, filthy sims. Okay, Hester, eat your sandwich. There we go. Oh. God. She's throwing it all over the place. She's like a realistic toddler. 
Like, I mean, I have a nephew who is about toddler age, and this is how they eat. They just, like, hit the food off the table, sculpt with it. Occasionally, some of it ends up in their mouth. They just, they're like that. They've captured that very well in the toddlers in this game. Um, a little too well, because it's really annoying to try and feed them. Let's see if Jeffrey will come over now, because it's after seven. Come on, Jeffrey. You have to be up by now. Here he is. And let's go hit bump with him. Why not? And of course, now we're going to have to make some adult friends for Polly to finish her aspiration, which is going to be a lot harder, I think, than the child friends. Okay, Spice, I th you need to uh, wash your baby, I think. There we go. Give Hester a bath. She's not even your baby, actually. She's an alien baby. She's your husband's baby with his alien mistress. Okay, Monty's up. Right, this is going to be a Polly-centric episode right now. Because Polly needs to uh, finish her aspiration. Oh look, the robot's dead. Um... Yeah, we need Polly to catch up with her sister and, you know, have, um, get her aspiration done, have a successful life. I find it interesting, actually, that Eleven is the least supernatural of our children. <laughs> She's the one named after a sort of supernaturally powered television child and she's the normal one her two sisters are purple and can probably like psychically control things when they're older i think aliens can do that oh it's the weekend and we're out of money actually this is pretty bad so what have we got in monty's inventory we have got a common space rock well, Monty, this is worth 95. Let's see what we can transform it into. Hester, what are you doing? Hester, look, you, you need to go uh, stack those blocks. Okay, we got a chair from it. How much is this chair worth? More than 95? 320. Great. You good old uh, money-making scam. And Monty, what does he need? He needs food. He can go uh, have a ham sandwich. I'm still very frugal with my meals. It's just a thing. We, Monty came from extreme poverty, so... Um, he just... Oh, sorry, Jeffrey's a friend already. Well, forget you then, Jeffrey. We have to go make friends with two adults. Um, who are we going to make friends with? Let's go traveling and find out. Actually, is she... Can she become friends with... Um, What's-her-face? Spice. That might be a good idea. I think someone suggested that before. Um, no, Spice is in too bad a mood to make friends. Let's go Let's go be friends with someone else. Let's uh, travel somewhere. It's weird how the kids can just call for a taxi. I suppose you never actually see the taxi. Maybe they're calling the Starship Enterprise to beam them up and beam them back down somewhere. I always find found the Star Trek transporters a little bit scary because they kind of get, you know, torn apart and killed and then reassembled at the other end. Are they the same person coming out? Like, there's an episode where the transporter accidentally makes a clone of Riker, so... If it can make a clone of them, then that means the original isn't being preserved. Like, it, it's a cloning machine. It's, uh, quite dark. Okay, let's send her... We, you know what house has lots of, uh, facilities to keep her happy in? Ninja Manor. Let's go to Ninja Manor and make friends with whoever's here. Yeah, cleaning robots broken. Um... We're going to have a funeral for it later on, or maybe try and repair it. We'll have to see. What, whatever is easier. I guess probably Monty 
is qualified to repair it, being a scientist, but uh, he, he doesn't feel like it. It's the weekend. I have to say, playing this has worked. I'm wide awake and cheery after playing this for just... It's only been like 40 minutes and I'm in a great mood. So that's what you should do if you come home from work and you feel tired. Play The Sims for like 40 minutes. It's a good mood lifter. Look at Ninja Manor. This is such a different house to what I'm working on right now. It's crazy. It's... I don't know. It, it looks somehow smaller. It's got less rooms anyway downstairs. It's interesting how, my, how the style has changed. Okay, let's go do a funny introduction to Marley. She can be our new friend, our adult friend. I think she's an adult. Well, she definitely is an adult. She's married to Dick Dickerson. And Dick Dickerson does... Oh, Marley's gone. She literally ran away rather than be friends with me. Hang on. Hang on. Here's someone. Here's someone. Corey. Corey Caruso. Hey, Corey. Corey. Oh, look, everyone's up here. Corey, hello. I am a random child who has walked into your house, and I want to befriend you to check something off my bucket list. There we go. This should be fine. And look, here is Connor the Tenth and his evil brother, Ronok. Ronok is already friends with um, Polly because... We've, they're unofficially engaged. I think they're going to get married w once she's old enough. But um, he's, a, he's only a teenager now. He's actually only a few days older than her. So it's not as creepy as it looks. He just looks like a 40-something-year-old man. And I don't know. We're, we're, I was thinking of marrying... Um, Marion, what's her name? Off to uh, Connor the 10th. 11. Sorry. Ugh. Forgot the child's name. That's not good. Um, but we, we'll see. Uh, Bagel Headfoot tells me the ninja family are. Where is there a pretty low brow family? Well, there's been rumors. I mean, there's been rumors that the um, land grabs came for a wedding at this house once and never left but it's all unsubstantiated it all happened a very long time ago and nobody can really prove anything <laughs> so um i i think it'll be fine oh look she's gaining manners from this conversation we can help fix his bad relationship with kristen dodson whoever she is i don't think we'll do that because if he's not friends with Kristen, then he'll have more free time to spend with Polly and become her friend. What age is Corey? Is he an elder? No, he's just an adult. He looks older than he is, I guess. Who's this? Can this be our, our other adult friend with their crazy hair? It's Walnuts. Walnuts is a teen. I think Walnuts was a child uh, until recently, well, so that's yeah. that's new. Um, oh, we could go cloud gaze with him. That was the thing that worked before. Maybe in a minute. Let's just let's build this up the old-fashioned way, because um, I think we're building charisma skill as well. Marisol Nuts here is I'm friends with Jeffrey, and he's pretty cool. Oh, that's good. If he's good enough for Marisol, he's good enough for me. Like, uh, Lou asks if I marry a Connor, will I continue the Connor naming thing? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. No. I think that legacy challenge is over. The name is going to have to die with them. Unless there's like massive popular demand in chat. Because I let you guys pick all the names. So... Um, whatever you guys vote for, I guess. Unabridged Slot says I can marry into the schmoozes as well and combine all the legacy families. That could work. Return to the active lot. No, look, just have a snooze here. The beds here are nicer than at home, Polly, so it'll be fine. But you only need a little bit of energy. The others can look after themselves. What's Hester doing? 
just having a good time, I think. This is inappropriate. Ah, oh, screw you, Connor the Tenth. There's a reason the legacy challenge ended with you. You crazy whatever you look like. He looks like an aerobics instructor. A really bad one because he's quite chubby. But um Yeah, he's like some sort of He also looks a bit like a Roman or something, like a stereotypical Roman centurion. But a sort of um again, a not a very good one. I think basically he he has a nice face, but he's his head is too big for it. It's kind of like shrunken into the middle, if that makes any sense. Um, let's just finish making friends with this strange man. Corey, come back. Oh, they're cloud gazing. I forgot I asked them to do that. Oh, she's so tired. She's so hungry. But she's friends with Corey. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Caruso. I am going home. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Look at her. Strolling all the way to the edge of the lot. The neighborhoods were so small the, in the first couple of neighborhoods. Like, um, did Dick die or is he just not around? I don't know, actually. I think Dick might be dead. He wasn't there. Um, he was an elder last time I saw him. That would be sad. I guess we can figure it out on the family tree after we marry Ronok in. We'll have access to that family tree again. And we can um, look them all up. If we do marry Ronok in. That's basically... I plan to marry him to Polly. That's. I think we were agreed on that before. And um, she's favourite to be the heir. Oh no, what's going on? Is Blake is dying. Well, hang on. I, I should probably just stick around and watch. It's sad, but it means it frees up room so we can get um, so we can get a new dog. Oh no. It's even upsetting uh, little Hester. I just forget her name uh, all the time. Actually, is this cheese sandwich good? Hester, there's a perfectly good sandwich out here. Why don't... Get away from the dead dog and eat, eat the sandwich. Okay, so... We'll get a new dog once we have more money two new dogs so we can resume the uh, breeding thing. Yep, the dog died in the bog. Dead dog in the bog. Um, okay. Let's see. Monty has some time. Why don't you go read to the to toddler? Yeah, why not? Read to Hester. Bond with your daughter a little bit. Uh, your wife, meanwhile, she... Oh, look, she's in a really good mood. She needs skills for her job. She needs programming and video games. Why don't we get her to go practice some programming? I know it's sad, but... Like, to lose a dog, but... We can cheer you up with... A, bit of um, visual basic. There's a pet cemetery in Brindleton Bay. Is there? Oh, I forgot we got a dog grave. Oh, let's put this out in the graveyard. Out next to Vlad. Um, yeah, this is... This, will, this is going to be nice. We um, need... And there we go. It the hole is just as big, even though it's for a dog and not a person. And let's uh, engrave an epitaph to uh, Blake.
Make Sheldon. Or no sons or daughters. Oh, put her out at the shrine. Oh yeah, she's Mangarold's dog. And the original owner of the house. So, why don't I... Well, after Mangarold died. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Mangarold's dog can be with Mangarold. And, um... Let me just clean up this. There you go, Blake. Back with your true master. Old ghosty McGhosterson himself. Um... Now, are you... He doesn't look like he's reading to a child at the moment. No, he's done. He's putting the book back. Okay, well... Why don't you read for yourself, then? Read some Crisis Barn. What's going on with Polly? Jeffrey's texting to say Corey's cool. I guess Corey's making friends with all the kids around the neighbourhood. I thought this was a bit of an anomaly. Eleven, don't play your violin in here. Just go play it somewhere else. You've woken up your sister, and she needs to sleep. She has to befriend another middle-aged man tomorrow. Oh, Monty's done it. He's had he's made his breakthroughs. Okay, well, he can go to sleep then. Oh, he wants to check toddler. Oh! Oh, oh, look who needs attention, actually, Monty. I think um I think your daughter needs your attention. Let's teach shapes to Hester instead. Instead of going to sleep, let's be a father for once. I know it doesn't fit with the whole evil thing, you being a good dad and everything, but um, I think you should give it a try. And this is kind of, you know, the, uh, the extra baby. I don't think anyone wants Hester to be the heir. Or maybe you guys do. I don't want Hester to be the heir. I think Hester is too young and irresponsible to take control of this house. And I'm not really bothered raising her skills that much. But she's the dark horse in the race, I suppose. Spice's birthday? What? Spice? Oh, wow. Okay, um... It's quite late in the day as well. Okay, let's get her to make herself a cake then. Cook yourself a chocolate cake, Spice. It's your birthday. You're going to be an adult now. Oh. I guess Polly got in your way. Well, look, don't let that ruin your birthday. You can still make your cake. Polly, what are you eating? Is that applesauce? No, oh, chips. Okay, but the, in the American sense. So it's a bowl of crisps, which... Seems a little bit lazy. I don't think anyone in the world keeps their crisps in a bowl in the fridge. They would probably go a bit soggy or something, just from the moisture of the fridge air. But I, I don't know. Maybe some people do that. Oh, I've got this room space here now and nothing to do with it. And potentially another corridor along here once we've got um, more money. What's wrong with Hester now? Oh, she's annoyed. Well, look, Hester. I think maybe you can amuse yourself for a while. Maybe you can go do some stacking. Your dad has important things to do. Where's that cake gone? Um, Is it just in here? Good, it's only in here. She can go add candles to it. Hester, yeah, I've got you doing something. Monty, you need to pee really badly. Okay, here we go. Spice is growing up. Miss Brightside suggests I can make a pet room so the dog can eat inside. Oh, that could be nice. Brazil has sent Spice a gift. And Mix has sent her a gift. I think that's her sister and her um, unwanted daughter. Well, I say unwanted. Um, yeah, that's probably what I mean. 
we didn't want her, so we left her in uh, living with her aunt. What did what did they send? Did they just send like a toy cat and some upgrade parts, really? Or was it this spoiled tofu tacos? Maybe it's in the family inventory. No, there's nothing in there. I've still got the dollhouse in my inventory. Um, I think I can get rid of that for now. I guess it was probably the plumbing parts they sent. Or the book. Orbital pudding. Nothing good anyway. It's a bit of a crummy birthday present. Oh god, I think we need to load the dishwasher. Um, should we give Spice like a middle-aged makeover or do we leave her as she is? Eleven is playing that damn violin again. I'm sorry I ever bought it for her. Look, go to bed. Go to bed, Eleven. I'm moving your violin there. It's in the office now. Just so your poor sister can get a bit of sleep. Maybe I could just extend the kids' room down here and make it a bit longer. Or oh, I could add a diagonal wall to this room out this way. I don't know. It's a, it's, um, a plan to make when I have more money, I think. I wonder could... Hmm do another three by three bathroom here oh yeah I've got a few ideas actually we're gonna do some cool things with this house eventually if I put roofs on here I didn't even put wallpaper on here oh no this looks awful um, and there's a roofless patch we'll fix that later but it, it will be fixed. There's nobody in this generation's a painter. We should get a camera so we can still get a large portrait of Monty. That's a good idea. Although Eleven is quite creative. I think maybe Eleven can be our painter. We'll just wait until... We'll see what she's like as a teenager. Because we can get our painting of Monty when he's an adult or a young adult. It doesn't really matter. Here, go stack those blocks, you little munchkin. Um, Monty's asleep. Spice should be asleep. Eleven is... She's still got two days till she ages up. Oh, well, I've misjudged this a little bit. I thought it was more urgent to finish her um, aspirations. I think she's probably fine. But we can at least ignore her for a little while now. Is the dishwasher loaded? It is, and look. Look how clean it is out here, apart from this big pile of crap here. But I can just throw that out. That's, that's good. Someone's homework is here. I don't think it belongs to one of ours, so I'm just going to sell it. Because you can buy it back anyway, even if you accidentally get rid of your own. I think we need a separate kitchen to our uh, entrance hall, eventually. I'm making a lot of long-term plans for this place, the, um, kind of ahead of the short-term ones. What's Vlad do? Vlad is out mourning Jackson again. Vlad, come on, it's not all that bad. Poor Vlad. Almost Eleven's birthday. Oh, okay. So now I think... Is it one day now? No, it's still two days. Okay. Polly, get up. It's it's time. You're, you're having... We're having another Polly day. She's got to go make friends with people. Uh, someone has to feed Hester. Um... 
Um, let's. Go. Oh, actually, hang on. We don't need someone to feed Hester. Hester can just uh, grab a piece of cake. In fact, everyone is eating floor cake. Brilliant. Hester, are you eating your floor cake? Good, she is. Polly, are you going to eat some cake? There's a lot of errors happening in the background. Ooh, another one. I don't know what... Ooh, another. 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 I don't know what they're about. Something is clearly going crazy in the background of my game. Um, and another one. And another. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe I should exit to main menu and go back in. I'll see you in a second. Um, we'll just travel to a different lot first. That might help. Is my MC command center up to date? Um, I think I'm one version behind, but there hasn't been a Sims patch since. It just, I'm on 3.9.6 and I think 4.0.0 came out recently, but it doesn't have any major fixes. So I think it's, I don't think it's that, but I'll update after this uh, session. I'll install the new one. Just when I install the new one, it's a pain copying over all my old settings and everything, because I really like to customize all the little bits. Um, what's this? Oh my god, this family has triplets. The Shaw family. Maybe that was the error. Loads of babies being added. The Calientes, the Schmoozes, the Trivetis. More triplets. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's just been a load of triplets added somehow. The Gandhis. The Shahs. Oh, is that um, Sam to the Jane Sim seems to have married some guy. The Bangermans. Will we go visit the Bangermans? Let's make friends with one of the Bangermans. I think these Bangermans are um, another fan-made family, so... We'll get to know them. See if there's anything interesting. They have a dog. That's good. A dog named Riley. Another error. Oof. Let's see, are, are your parents home, kids? Oh god. Terrible, terrible errors are happening. Hang on. I'm going to exit to main menu and reload. Just, um, oh, Lou has a sim sitting around that I can download. Yeah, this now is actually the perfect time because I'm going to be out in the neighborhood screen again when I load back up. Bagel Headbutt says the Bangermans are diehard fans of Banger and Mash and not named in any way to be suggestive. I'm sure that's true. Um, why wouldn't they be? Lots of people like bangers and mash. Not particularly me. I'm, I'm not that much of a mashed potato fan. But why not? I'm sure they are. Okay. Um, amoeba Association. Or Amoeba Associate. Oh, here we go. Well, this is Lou's family. This is... I guess... I don't know. Is this... Oh, it's you. You've made yourself. That's cool. Well, I'm going to m move you in here to... Um, this empty park. No, I'll move you in to a nice house. Do you know what you're going to get, actually? The old goth place. Oh no, someone else lives there. Um. Well then, what other houses are free? The bargain bend, which you can't get furnished. I'm sorry, you're not you're not getting furniture. You've gone from getting a, your own mansion to um. An unfurnished house I downloaded from the exchange at some point. Um, now, let me resume the goth family. 
Um, Polly. So, yeah, we're going to make friends with Mr. or Mrs. Bangerman. Mrs. Bangerman. Here she is. Um, Emily Bangerman. Prepare to be my new best friend. Do you like kids? Because your best friend is one now. Oh, look at this cool outfit, his little bear thing. What's his name? Robert Leo Bangerman. I like that. Double barreled names are. Well, I don't know if it's double barreled or if it's a first name or and a middle name. But double barreled names can be the sign of being either really fancy or really not fancy. There's no, it, there's no middle ground with it. I think the Bangermans are pretty fancy. Look at this house. They've got a palm tree. Palm tree is the ultimate sign of a fancy family. And look, there's some, they've got a view of some sort of Las Vegas casino as well. That's the one we got our house carpet from. They were redecorating and they uh, were just throwing it in a skip, so we grabbed it and took it with us. Look, they have a cat as well, called Finnegan. This looks like such a swanky discussion. And look, there's a, he's having a classy chat with the baby as well, in the background. Uh, let's... Look, these guys are getting on really well. I think these guys are probably quite similar. Oh, well, as soon as I say it, something goes wrong. But um, overall, this, this seems pretty okay. Polly is quite the uh, social animal. She does have high charisma skill. Well, she has like, what, three charisma? But that's, as a child, that's like a really high amount. Let's goof around a bit, get to know her. Look, there's a there's Bangerman children. Clara Ann Bangerman. I think we already know this one. Um, what's her name? Alice Bangerman. I like Alice Bangerman's little leather jacket. It looks like, like a very goth type of thing. Um, look, more, more baby food splashing. It's what they do. They... They just, they decorate with their dinners. It's a, it's a creative freedom I think we all need to embrace. <laughs> Polly is a dog lover. Oh, well, let's talk about her favourite animal then. Oh, she'll like that. Yeah, my favourite animal isn't actually dogs. It's, um... What, what's a, a good animal? Lemurs. The dog looks very like Blake as well, actually, except brown. Um, like some sort of break, I guess. This'll be great, though. If we can finish this aspiration, then the only child we have left to worry about is... Um, what's her name? Hester. And, you know, we'll... We might actually raise Hester to be something productive. She won't um, end up as some sort of drug ad drug addicted party animal, as Chat was predicting a while ago. She could be the classiest of them all. Okay, still just acquaintances. Come on, come on, Emily. You're breaking my balls here, figuratively. There we go! Brilliant. Okay, what should Polly's new aspiration be? I'm going to just um, leave it to you guys to decide. First one to suggest gets it. Um, I'm going to just get her to travel home so that it buys me some time before I'm forced to choose. Come on, Polly. Time to go home. You've fulfilled your life's goal. Look at the face on that cat. <laughs> he's up to something. He's got he's got some sort of scheme. Um, 
here we go. The air is steam just not motor. A my Lupin was first. And Lou is also suggesting motor, and the unabridged sloth, I think, is also saying motor. So, yeah, well, it says up arrow, but presumably referencing motor. That's cool. Motor it is. We're not going to focus on it, but it's nice to have. Actually, Polly could do with some motor. She's got a bit of a belly going on. Um, can we... Is there anywhere around here she can exercise? Like, could we send her down for a swim in the sea? No, you can't. Um, could you swim in the sea in one of the other Sims games? I'm pretty sure you could. Was it The Sims 3 you could swim in the sea? Or was it The Sims 2? I don't know. I have vague memories of it anyway. Are you pooing yourself? Oh. Okay, we're going to we're going to uh, potty train Hester as the last person in this house to learn how to use a toilet. Polly found a spirit, spirit animal. She'll only want to wear the... Oh my god. Polly is identifying as a bear. It was a joke in my original, like, leg Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. And now it's a feature. I wonder did someone at Max's watch or something. Okay then. Um, Polly is now a bear. That's just fine. Oh no, the error logging is happening again. I think it's this house. It wasn't happening on the other lot. Is there someone in this house that could be breaking? Um. Hmm. Unusual. I should check that out. Hang on. I'm not sure what'll happen if I minimize the game to check what's going on, but um, we'll see. If the stream goes offline for a few seconds, you'll know that's why. Okay, so I'm going to check now. Uh, don't know if I'm still online at the moment. I'm just... Uh, checking what the sims for error message is that keeps coming up what date is today December Okay, I'm back. I don't, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything for a few seconds just to make sure it's streaming again. But um, I checked and apparently it's Ghost Cullen throwing the error. So, I don't know. It's nothing, basically. We can live with it for the rest of this session, I think. It's not going to cause major issues. Um... It's just going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, why don't you go take a piece of cake, Hester? Maybe we can turn off error logging with the mailbox. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know where that setting would even be. If anyone knows, let me know in chat. Um, We'll just ignore it temporarily. Okay, Monty is in a pretty good mood. Witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What should I have done? Step in and stand up or stay out and console your friend? I think step in and stand up. You're a brave bear. You should, you should stand up for your friends. Okay, Holly's only got four days till age up now. This is this is okay. The we will we will have no children left in the house pretty soon. Let's 
going on? Why, why are you asleep? Oh, he was crying. Okay, he's, he's still upset over the dog, I think. That's a shame. Oh, dog man wants to come over. Oh, no dog man, too soon. It's too soon. Do you think maybe it's the dog grave that's causing the problems? It's kind of started since that got put in. You think maybe if we um, release Blake to the netherworld? Oh, I don't want to try it. If, if it doesn't fix anything, then, you know, that could be really annoying. Um, will the ghost come if I put the grave in the inventory? Actually, I know what to do. There is a setting in here on... Sorry, it's not on the mailbox. That's why I can't find it. It's on the computer. Um, MC Junior, was it? No. MC Population. Um, maybe it was other settings. Bypass sim calling, disable immortal sims. No. Probably population then. Other settings. Oh, that's what I was in, isn't it? Oh no. Um, gameplay settings. Maximum household size. I don't know. We'll leave it for now. Crimson Bode didn't notice Blake was dead. Yeah. Unfortunately, it happened um, just a little while ago. Blake dropped dead in our bathroom, so we're going to we're going to get new dogs once once um, we have more money. But we don't have it yet. I think somebody needs to read Hester to sleep because she's. Oh no, we're getting that thing again with the bed. Ah. Can I just say to like hide these or something? Oh no, I don't want to auto expand. I want the opposite. I want I want to stop getting these ghost culling things. Jeffrey's inviting Polly over. Um not right now, Jeffrey. Sorry. Okay, let's just put this in the inventory and see if it fixes things. No. Is not working. Um, okay, well, I don't know what to do. Apart from live with it. Yeah, well, live with it for the next, like, hour and 20 minutes. And if it doesn't drive me insane, and we'll deal with it. Where are you going? Mourn Mangarold. No. No, you're in a you're in a good mood, finally, Monty. This isn't a time to go mourning. We need you to do something productive. Um Spice as well. Don't don't nap. Go practice your programming. Monty, what what can Monty do when he's in a good mood? Like as an inventor. Um he's already like pretty well prepared for his career. I think he'll probably get another promotion this week. He'll probably reach the top of his career very soon. Let's just get... Oh! Let's get him to... Uh, is the robot repaired? Oh, he can empty it. I think the robot is full. That's the issue. Let's upgrade it with... Um, oh, no. We need more handiness skill. Uh, okay, then let's... Uh, Load the dishwasher. Stop mourning people! He's just determined to ruin his good mood. I don't understand it. Um, everyone's in such a good mood now that I've stopped making them do things for a while. 
I don't know what that says about me. Oh, Hester's hungry again. Hester's always hungry. Listen. Get up. Eat cake. I don't want you taken away by social services. That's the last thing we need. Because I think if they take one kid, they take them all. The bear changes colours, Midnight pointed out. Let's see. Oh, it does. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the different outfits. Maybe she's in her pyjamas now. Her pyjamas are a purple bear. And uh, let's see. Oh, no. Maybe it's just a random thing then. Oh, this looks awful in here. We're going to have to fix that. Okay, I know, I know you're annoyed, Polly, but, you know, just calm down. Tina Bishop is texting now. I forgot about Tina Bishop. She was our friend for a while. What are you doing? Checking toddler. Well, repair the toilet. That's, that's a better use. Look, he's sad again. From morning again. He's just determined to be sad. Look, we have to go and uh, read Hester to sleep. This is this is the important thing at the moment. You gonna do that for me, Monty? No, because we're having that bug again. This is like, I don't know, a study on the various bugs of The Sims 4. I hope there's a patch for a lot of these soon. Hester, where are you going? No. You don't go to bed. You're going to be read to sleep. You're getting a bedtime story. And that is that. Go on. Read. There you go. There you go. I thought she was going to get up and run off again. Need to get rid of the graveyard gate for a bit and they'll stop mourning. Oh, do you know what I can do? I can just lock the door for um, everyone. Now no one can go in, so that's, you know, effectively the same thing. Um, Monty can go to sleep. It's Sunday night, so he'll be in work soon. It'll be Monday morning. Eleven, get under, this, under the sheets. You're gonna catch a cold. And I don't think you have done your homework yet, Polly. Why are you sad? From I'm a bear. It's she's sad from not being a bear at the moment. Oh well, I. I'm not trying to make you unhappy. I just didn't get a chance. Like you, she, you put on that suit aut autonomously. I, I don't decide when. There you go. Oh, she feels pretty confident as a bear, actually. I think it's a good thing. I mean, I'm going to go with this bear phase as being a good thing. I can get rid of morning via command center, but I don't know. But it might um, break legacy rules. It probably would. I, I'd rather leave it in and just deal with it manually, to be honest. Even though it's a pain. You know, I, I don't want to start cheating or anything. Polly's gone back to bed. This is good. We've got everyone in a good mood going into school in the morning and work. Well, except maybe Spice. It, but everyone else. Actually, Monty might need to pee before work. Let's get him up. And um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do something really nice and serve up some fruit salad for everyone for breakfast. Monty, can you do that? Make everyone a nice fruit salad? There you go. Oh, look, there was only one error message. I think they might have stopped. They have. We're, we're okay. They've stopped. Cool. Okay. It was obviously just trying to cull a load of ghosts at once and throw in some kind of exception. I'll update MC Command Center 
later tonight and it'll be fine. Um, who else needs breakfast? You need breakfast. Get out of the shower. There's fruit salad here. It's, it'll make you less fat than the other breakfasts we were having. Oh my god. How is this baby starving? Um, Monty. Look, forget your fruit salad um, for a second. Your starving child needs it more, apparently. Because she just is permanently hungry. Okay, Monty. Monty's, you know. He's not starving, anyway. He can get by. And Hester has made a mess of herself. Let's go. Let's potty train her before uh, before work. When's work? Two hours? Yeah, we've got time. Bye, kids. Bye. Oh, look. Polly's looking pretty sad. Eleven's fine. Oh, Polly's fine too. Okay, they're both happy enough. How are their grades doing, actually? Polly is a B student. That's good. Eleven is a C student. And I don't think she's going to get much better than that. Mangarold chilling out. Where was he? I didn't... Oh, he must be around here somewhere. Okay, we're going to follow Monty to work and get his performance up. Because, um... There'll be nothing to do around the house otherwise. Oh, look at that. He, he got a parenting skill point. Airplane origami. Polly mastered the art of the paper plane. Can't wait to try her new design. She's already finished her worksheet and the substitute isn't looking. Throw the plane. Yes. It worked. It went well. Good result. Just to summarise. Love letter. Eleven's grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words You are cute written on it. She thinks it might be from the new boy. Oh, confront him. Find out if it's him. Pretty easy for her to get the boy alone since he doesn't have many friends yet. And he definitely wrote it since he blushes. Oh, she mumbles a thanks keeping it a secret for now. So Eleven's got herself a school boyfriend. You just pointed out Polly wasn't a bear. Yeah, she seems to have changed out for school. I guess it's probably against their uniform or dress code or whatever they have. I don't know. I don't think they have uniforms, per se, in The Sims. So, uh, yeah. Where are we going now? The science lab. Oh, Monty's in his new evil scientist outfit and everything. This is fantastic. Let's, uh... Get him through the workday. What does he want to do? Upgrade his sim ray. Invent a wormhole generator. I think that is the first thing we have to do. But we need... Oh, we need metals for that. Um, Should we... Can we get metals over here? I don't know. We'll, I'm sure we'll pick up metals somewhere. But for now, I think we'll do the upgrade the ray thing. Where is the ray? There it is. Get our new uh, mind control thing online. But I'd like a wormhole generator. We can go. Uh, we can go all Stargate with that. Go battle the Gould and befriend the Asgard, or whatever. All kinds of Stargatey things. They should never have cancelled that. Who's this? Luna Villarreal. She's a mad scientist. Is she new? I don't remember her being here before. But okay, let's. Um, I mean, we're meant to mind control someone to clean, so you'll do, I guess. I wonder if she a vampire. Her name sounds very vampiric, I guess. It's Pine! Pine! We haven't seen you in ages. Not since your birthday party. How's things, old pal? Give us some synthetic food. Do we have synthetic food? I think possibly. No. Oh, Pine might have a metal for us. Uh, Pine, do you have an uncommon metal for me, by any chance? 
Does that look like a yes? No. Well, he, he's never helpful. Let's make some synthetic food. Um, there we go. We just need any plant at all. And then we'll give some to Pine. And yeah, that should work. Yeah, it, Lou points out Monty isn't wearing his hospital gown anymore, which is a relief for everyone, I guess. Monty as well. Something went horribly wrong. Oh, okay. Well, we need that synthetic food still. So, like, let's just do it. I don't know why things keep going wrong with this chemistry bench thing. It just we, we just seem to be having really bad luck with it these days. Whoa. Serum looks tainted. Okay, well you, Luna. Oh, I can't. I can't. Uh, where's Pine? Pine. Oh, maybe it has. It has to be in our inventory. We can give it to Luna then, maybe. Is it in there? Oh, it's not in there yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, so pine. Um, let's see, how do we do that? We just have snake oil. Synthetic food. Um, hmm. not showing up at all okay can uh, we get a plant sample uh, uh, no that task doesn't seem to be working for whatever reason who's this bomb schmooze is our receptionist now that's crazy he was never a scientist type okay look pine get off the microscope i need it I've wasted half the work day and have got very little progress done. And I'm going to blame you. Okay, we got that done. Uh, mind control co-workers to change outfits. Okie doke. Let's get them all athletic today. Did I see that? Did Eleven improve her grades? That was good. She's really uh, getting things together now that uh, she's approaching her teenage years. Oh, I think we're going to have to work late today. Yeah, well, look, we've only got like two hours left. Uh, use a microscope for research. How do I do that? Select a microscope. This is the microscope, right? Isn't it? Or is there a different microscope somewhere? Is that one? No, that's a chemistry lab. Um, can we give it give someone our food serum yet? That's what I really want to know. Who are you, Luna? You're you're out of your work uniform. Dogman. Dogman. My old friend. No, just the snake oil. Hmm. Uh, Dogman. Can I order you to... God, I don't know. What can I do here? Give a sim synthetic food. Invent the wormhole generator. Use microscope for research. Try the mischief socials for tainted serum. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Who suggested that? On a bridge, sloth. You have saved our career. Now view a piece of art. Okay, I think this is a piece of art, technically.
perfect. Okay, we might actually do this. Give a sim a rose perfume serum. I don't think we have that yet. Um, we need a rose for that. And are there roses here? Snapdragons? No, I don't think there are. Oh, let's um, purchase... We could purchase some starter flowers and hope to get roses, I guess. Or we can do one of these things. Use a microscope for research. I guess just use on this. That's probably what it is. Fine, get out of there. Okay, that worked. Oh, we've still got a little bit of time to do this. Mind control is sim to clean. We can do this. We've done this before. It's a race against the clock now. Where, where is the sim? Bomb. Oh, we... Now I understand why um, Luna was out of her work clothes. We mind controlled her to be out of her work clothes. I can't believe I forgot that. Great. We did it. The work day is... Uh, Another perfect work day. We need to get more of those metals though. Let's go dig out here. Because I want to invent that um, that wormhole generator next time. What did we find? A time capsule. Okay, we got like a thousand simoleons. That's fine. I knew we weren't going to get a promotion today, but that that's as as good as we could have hoped for. And is today um, Eleven's birthday or is that tomorrow? I think it might be tomorrow. Eleven's birthday is tomorrow. Great. We'll make her a cake in the morning and uh, she can grow up. Polly's in a good mood. Okay. Um... We need to potty train Hester, but otherwise... Oh no, bills! Well, there goes all our money. Sorry, Spice. We gotta go pay the bills. And lose our small fort. Well, we still got over a thousand. We didn't do too badly out of it. So, yeah. I want to just carpet and wallpaper this this is going to be like similar to the hallway it's going to be a kind of continuation into a new area of the house and I think the way I'm going to do this is like that and hmm in here I wonder what kind of room we can make I'm not sure I have enough money to make We did something like this. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then um, in here can be our gym, maybe when uh, when we've got a little more money. That can be our gym. I have enough for the... Oh, I had enough for the dogs. Damn. Mixed Nuts wants to meet someplace. Sorry, my life has moved on, Mixed. You're you're not the favourite child anymore. Oh, look at this. Hester's actually learned a load of skill points somehow. Somebody has been teaching my child how to uh, live. And I appreciate that. Let's... um. Let's continue in the trend, actually. Hester, I'm, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to teach you how to talk. We, let's, let's just get this skill point up. If we can get everything to level 3, then Hester can be a contender. Unabridged oh, no, Sloth points out Hester's always sad or angry. It's true. She only has two modes. She's got a lot of energy, but she's in a really bad mood. Polly reached creativity level four. 
Oh, wow. Hester, you are starving. Hang on. Monty, I know you want to eat this delicious fruit salad yourself, but you have a hungry baby, so you're going to have to get another one because this one is going to Hester. Look, Hester's face is still greyed out for some reason. I think she's suffering from, like, grey face disease. Oh, she's having a good time eating anyway. Now, she needs imagination. Her movement is fine. Her thinking could do with some work. Can she do shapes? Not yet. Can we teach her shapes? I think we can. Hester, come, learn shapes. Sorry, Monty, I, I hid away your dinner, but... 11 reached violin level 6? 11? What is going on here? What's she been up to while we've been away? Well, I think if she doesn't get some sort of musical trait when she gets older, then it's a terrible crime. I'm really liking Eleven now, actually. We'll see what trait she gets when she grows up. She could still be the heir. Oh, it's her birthday, actually. So let's, um, let's age her up now. Who's up and has energy? Okay, Polly. Uh, not Polly, um... Spice, it's up to you. You're going to need to cook a hamburger cake, I think. Okay, Monty, you can go to bed now. Hester has reached thinking level two, so that's good. She's well on her way to being okay. Bagel Headbutt says, teaching her shapes will only limit her mind to the three dimensions. Yeah, that's true, actually. But it's also how we can raise her thinking skill. So I'm kind of tied down to it. And someone says there's a ghost dog. Oh my God, Blake is back. Oh, having a little snooze on the couch. What's Hester doing now? I'm going to go play in something. No, don't play in anything. That can only end badly. Why don't you go um, do shapes again? Oh, let's see this cake. It's 3 a.m. It's very early for a birthday party. but uh, Or late, whatever way you want to look at it. But we are going to have a teenage 11 now. Add the candle spice. Eleven. Your time as a child is over. Prepare to become a teenager. She's just walking it. She's just going to like hit puberty the second she blows out these candles. And we'll see what trait she gets as well. Because I've still got the random one installed. She's been removed from the kids club. Oh wow. She actually looks really nice. That's good. She still has her father's chin, but yeah, she's turned out looking okay. And what trait did she get? She is lazy. Okay, so both her and Polly are lazy. I mean, it's not the worst. Okay, go to sleep. I guess lazy is just like our family trait now. Um, but she's also create. She's creatively gifted from completing her aspiration. She's good. And she was a happy toddler. And look, she's got a lot of empathy here. So I don't know how this will translate. She's just going to be a sort of creative type, I think. Um... Spice, I think somebody needs to read Hester to sleep because she's being a pain. Can, 
can you be the person to do that? It look, oh, and it's almost Polly's birthday. Maybe we'll get Polly's birthday in today as well. It looks like um, Blake haunted the robot. Go on, read Hester. Oh, I, we're having that bug again. Are we? Where's Hester? Hester, go here. Here. Read Hester. To no. For whatever reason, it's not working. Okay, Hester, just go potty. We'll figure this out. You've apparently got some sort of bedtime problem. Um, and let's give you some food. Do you want some fruit salad before bed? I think you do. Ate my lupins asking, are we still going to get new dogs? Yes. We'll get the new dogs with tomorrow's paycheck. I think. Oh god, Hester's in such a bad mood. Um... Okay, Monty, you can you can go have fruit salad now. Monty loves fruit salad, but he never gets to eat any because his uh, kids are all eating it before he can get at it. Can we clean up these dishes? Oh, there we go. We need to load the dishwasher. Hester, I need you to go to sleep. I know you want a story, but tough. Um... <laughs> You wouldn't go to bed when we tried to read you a story earlier. Okay, Polly's off to school. I guess Eleven has the day off, so... Um, let's go... Okay, work starts in an hour for those two. Let's go... Um, what are we looking for? Plan outfit? If you could get there before the others leave for work, it would be great. Okay! Let's, uh, Crimson Bode says, Blake is the man Garald of the dog legacy. He completely Your is. Father. Okay, oh wow, did she just put on weight as soon as I opened her in Create a Sim? Um, right, what's her aspiration? Is to be a freelance botanist. Ah. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so we're going to plan Eleven's outfit. Actually, she looks less nice than Create a Sim because she's inherited her father's evil eyebrows. Um, okay, what's not, what's good hair for her? Um, she wants to be what what hairstyle screams lazy good freelance botanist. That no, it, that's not lazy enough. Oh, she, she is quite stern looking. What can we do? Um, cat ears? I liked her hair being kind of long. Um, hmm. Get the season 2 11 hair. Yeah, okay. We'll get her to look like season 2 11 from Stranger Things. From like early in the season when it's all messy. Not later when it goes all weird and gothy. Although we are the goths so maybe we should go weird and gothy. What What is the closest here? I think that kind of works. That's pretty close. And I don't know. Let's maybe maybe we can use makeup to make her look less angry. I, d I don't... I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Okay, yeah. Looks a little friendlier. Um, we'll just have to do the same for every outfit, I think. I think... Yeah, this sort of pinky colour works. Although, she probably doesn't want it while she's in bed. And, um, 
See, we did something with the eyes, didn't we? We just stuck this on. But not in bed. Maybe not while swimming, either. And maybe we can... Maybe a bit of gothy eyeliner. Yeah. She's a goth, after all. So we have to give her, like, really gothy eyeliner. Mm. To keep with the whole goth family thing. Is that the same one? It is. Yeah, it's good. This... I think it kind of leans into the evil eyebrows a bit, so it works kind of well. Um, her everyday outfit, she's good and artistic. So what says good and artistic here? While, you know, not being horrible. Hmm. Yeah, Santa de Jane says she's kind of unfortunate looking. Um, Midnight says she looks like Miss Umbridge. She does a bit. Oh. We give her like a tor a tattered school uniform? No. Um, okay, let's give her some jeans or something. Okay, she's just taking her top off now. Um... Okay, something nice. Like, we'll give her this t-shirt for now, I think. this. Like, that's the kind of t-shirt a good artsy person would wear, I think. Uh -huh. And then, maybe some jeans? Stylishly ripped jeans? No, not even stylishly ripped. I think just the blue ones. And then she can have some, like, converse or something. Hmm. The shoes of a... A, uh, the shoes of a good person. There we go. That's all right. We need to get her a little more in shape. She's very busty. Like, unnaturally so. Maybe we can work with that. Uh, I think she needs a longer formal dress. Hmm. Something kind of artsy looking. I think maybe we can make this one work. We'll go with that for now. We'll fix it later. It'll it'll all... Okay, I think her athletic is fine. Um, her sleepwear doesn't look like sleepwear. She needs some sort of dressing gown, I think. Or pyjamas. There we go. And her slippers need to match. Um, bunny slippers. Party outfit... No, I don't think she'll have that. Something more... No. There we go. And if we can get her a nice skirt or jeans. That'll do. And her swimwear we'll worry about later. Okay, good enough. We'll, um, yeah, we'll come back to the to that later on. The permanent, like, scowl on her face, as Lynn points out, that's, like, the main weakness here. But we'll fix it. Well, we can't really fix it. I don't think, we can't edit her and create a sim. I think that would break the rules. Um, we'll do something, though. Oh, Geek Com is on. But, which would be a good thing to send Spice to, because she is a, a geek. But, um, unfortunately, we have to follow Monty to work just to make sure he does well today. We'll, um... Yeah, we'll come back and redo Eleven's outfit, maybe, when she's a young adult. We'll, we'll get a better feel for her then, and I think have um, a better idea what she should wear. Okay. Let's work. What is, um, what are our tasks? Again, with this rose perfume. We don't have roses here. He wants to mix it. He wants to analyze a plant sample with it. We're going to have to get it somehow. Well, let's just, um, 
collect a microscope sample. We'll worry about the perfume after. Maybe we'll get other non-plant related tasks to do and we can just ignore those too. Because it's quite hard to come by roses. I think. Mind control co-workers to change outfits. Okay. This is a nice easy one. Um, swimwear today I think. Old um, bomb and pine and our other co-worker today. Darling Walsh. Was Darling Walsh here before? I don't remember him. I think this is, um, I think he might be new. What's bomb swimwear? Oh my god, wow. I like it. Look at that grin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Excellent evil laughter there, Monty. Analyze a fruit or a flower. Where do we do that? Analyze flora. Okay. We can do that. We can analyze these bluebells. While you're doing that, I'm going to have a look to see if there's a rose bush around anywhere. Because look, there's stuff out here. Um, and maybe we can just go pick some. Oh, no. I don't think there is. Look, there's this little area down here. This is unusual. Some sort of big alien rock or something. A message left from um, Polly's true parents. We need a treadmill, easel, and dogs in no order, Midnight says. Yes. That's what I need. We'll do the dogs first. That will be mind control the sim to clean. Okay, that's fine. Darling Walsh can clean. Um Yes. I think we'll we'll do the dogs first. Then the treadmill, then the easel. Okay. Tinker with the coffee machine. This is fine. We just have to do the middle thing forever because we don't have roses. And I'm not going to gamble on buying flower seeds to try and get some. Maybe we can go to the forest and look for some at the weekend or something, just so we have them on hand. Um, make Sims ravenous using mind control. Oh, okay. I think we can do that. Wait, how do we do that? Mind control to eat. I thought we we had that. Um, maybe not. Nope, we never finished that apparently. We got the points for it, but we never actually finished it. Maybe the upgrade failed last time or something. Okay, there we go. We can mind control them to eat. So, uh, who's in it first? Pine. Don't you think it's lunchtime? There we go. Okay, um, who else? Bomb? I think you also uh, need to go get some lunch. And who else? Oh, Darling as well. Perfect, okay. It's mad that this is just generation one. We're not going to have Monty all the way through this challenge. I'm really going to miss him because he's been one of my favorite Sims I've ever made, I think. Look at him. He's so lovable. With his League of Villainy. Brainstorm on the invention constructor for an hour. 
What was happening with the area, Lou asks? Oh, nothing really. I just kind of scanned over it. I was looking for um, rose bushes. There were none. Okay, what kind of invention are we brainstorming now? Or is it anything specific? Look at this. I've got all these... Ooh, that's worth money. An artwork worth money. It's a bit of extra cash. Cool. Oh no, look, we're running out of time. Um, we need to do something. Mind control the sim to sit. Do we have that? Ooh. This Eva Capricosa? It is. Okay, let's let's get her. Quickly. Quickly, Monty. Make her sit down. Why don't you take a seat? No? Yes. It worked. Okay. So, we finished all those things. What else can we do while we're in work? We were going to look for heavy metals again. Or uncommon metals while we're here. It's almost Monty's birthday. Oh my god. He's getting old. A time capsule. Again. A crystal. Another crystal. He finds a lot of time capsules actually. Oh, some metal. Some more metal, I think. Nope, a treasure map. Okay, we got money. We've got our money so we can adopt our dogs. That's stage one of the plan. The uh, goth master plan. We need we need two dogs, one male, one female, neither neutered, and both of uh, breeding age or close enough. Breeding age or younger. So we have two and a half grand. Let's, um, is, let's not buy a vet clinic anyway we can... Where do you adopt a pet? Hire a service, I think. Um, adopt a dog. Oh, it's only 200. Oh, hey, which dog do we want? Um, that's Cece and Chester and Jake. I like Chester. He's neutered. Are they all neutered? We can get them unneutered. But, um, oh, it's a, it's a bit of a pain. Is Chester a boy? I like Chester. I don't know what you guys think. And then um, a female one as well. Who's female? Ruby, Brooke, Gizmo's male, Bruno's male, Dog is female, Sweetie is female. I like Cece as well. Yeah, okay. Crimson Bode likes Chester as well. Chester will be our first dog. He's a little uh, Doberman. And Midnight says Sweetie. Yeah, let's go with Chester and Sweetie then. Yeah, she's a puppy. So is Chester. It's all right. Uh, we'll get two puppies and they can grow up and fall in love. They're neutered, but we can unneuter them. So, is this is this the dog person coming? This is an adoption agent. Oh, here here she comes. Here are our new spice. Oh God, she's in a very bad mood. <laughs> Let's come home to spice asleep on the floor while uh, the top the baby watches her. It's a little bit spooky. Maybe he was in dire need of attention. Oh look, you can get your attention from the dogs. Oh, look at them, little sweetie and Chester. Do we get to keep that uh, container? No. Okay, do we have, what are you doing over there? No, stop that. Now we need a treadmill and an easel. Okay. Um, Let's make this room into something worthwhile. 
We need some lighting. And I think this room can be a little more modern than our other ones. I think, yeah, one of these lights up there. And then if we go and get a nice wooden floor. Like that. Do the walls. No, if we, a non-dirty version of that, maybe. Oh, I like that. Okay. Those can be your walls. We need a window over here. Um, I like the windows we have on this side. So maybe these? What height are they at? Maybe we should move them higher up. Yeah, I think they're too low on the wall at the moment. I think it makes the house look weird. And... Oh, this, just, this looks odd from the outside. Now we need a different window there. Um, something... Oh, what, what are these ones? The medium windows. We can get something like this. Or that. I think this one was nice because it's kind of the right width. But yeah, look at that. So we have this nice little uh, more modern room in here. But maybe we can enter from over here. Actually, I'll put this door further down. Put a light in this corridor. Stick it there temporarily. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I haven't spent the dog money yet. Oh, I have to press on the dog and pick adopt. Oh, okay. Crap. Sorry, I, w I wasn't paying attention to chat. Um, let's see. Who's around? Who's awake? Um, yes, let's adopt. Chester Goth. It's funny how we have Hester and Chester. Should we give him a new name? Um, no, I'll leave. I'll leave Miss Chester. Oh, nice they can keep job. their names. We're not going to change them. Uh, okay, and now we have to adopt this one. Do we want to adopt this pet? Yes. Sweetie Goth. Brilliant. Now, fill the food thing to make sure they can eat. And we've got it. We've got dogs. We've got our room here. Um, we've got, it. I think, maybe enough money here to... Uh, I don't know. Treadmill or easel? I think let's get started on the easel. The treadmill we can deal with later. Where's where what are easels under? I thought they'd be under here. There we go. Oh, I think we have enough for both. Easel treadmill. Perfect. Okay. Now you, Eleven, can Oh, we don't have enough money to paint. Crap. Oh, I know where we can get money. Sorry to disturb you, Monty, um, but I believe you have two time capsules in your inventory that might be worth a bit of cash. Two My Sims trophies. Will we bother transforming them or just sell them? I think... Oh, let's transform them. I was going to sell them, but I changed my mind at the last second. This might burn the house down. Okay, we got a table from that. That's all right. Table. Not worth a lot of money, but it's something. And this one... will become... A tree. A, a small tree. Worth a lot of money. Okay.
Okay. So now you can go do a, do a sad painting. Oh, look at this! These little dogs. Polly, come meet the dogs. Where's Polly? Oh my god. Where? How did she get over there? And why? And when? And I don't know. She must have been sleepwalking or something. And I is leaving. My adoption evaluation appointment is ending. Okay, that's fine. I adopted both of the dogs. So, it's cool. We like both of them. They're nice little guys. Um, what is wrong with you now, Hester? You need fun and food. Okay, why don't you go pet the dogs? The dogs can give you fun. This is good. Okay. Can we uh, sell this, please? Here we go. Bit of money. Now, painting's a good way to earn money in this game, actually. So we're doing well with this. Oh, Spice is making friends with the new dogs. Oh, that's nice. Now, let's see. Oh, we can. Forget, forget all this. Get leftovers. Can toddlers get leftovers? Here. Hester, you're hungry. You're sad because you're hungry. Just eat. Eat something. Polly, you're also hungry and you also need to pee. Oh, we're getting overwhelmed again. Go have some cake. Maybe we should be discouraging them from eating so much cake. But, but now Chester is a glutton. Oh wow. And Sweetie. I don't know what Sweetie is. Also a glutton maybe? We'll, we'll never find out. Um, okay. Okay. Is it Polly's birthday yet? Tomorrow it is. Okay. Chester is also a couch potato. Hester reached a higher imagination level. This is going to be really confusing, having Chester and Hester. We, we need to have Lester as well now, just to complete the trilogy. Um, can you go... Teach Hester to build a tower, please, because she is really annoying me. When's Hester's birthday? Her birthday t is tomorrow as well. Okay, we'll have a double birthday. Yeah, Chester found the bowl, so he's already doing a lot better than our previous dog. Who has relationships with the new dogs at the moment? Look at this, I've been really ignoring Hester, and... She's doing really well with her skills, so I don't know. Maybe I should just ignore toddlers. They can look after themselves. What's going on in here? Sweetie, what are you doing in here? Oh, does she need to go potty? Let's potty train these ones. Um, as long as they're not stubborn, it should be fine. Are you going to the potty? Do you... You also need to go potty. Go on, outside. Jackson's spirit is fading away. Oh, okay. Why, why isn't he going potty? Come on. Oh, there we go. That's good. Okay, he's gonna, Monty's gonna go get some cake. Um, look at this. 
It's a painting of a dog. Obviously, young um, Eleven has dogs on the mind at the moment. Chester, Hester, Lester, and Fester. Yes, those will be the names of our pets, maybe. Age up. Oh, look, pollination technician has aged up. Oh. Should we send her, like, a birthday card or something? Okay, let's get this painting skill up so we can do a, do a portrait of Monty. Chester is a troublemaker. Chester, have you been making trouble? Oh. I can't stay angry at that face. It's nearly time for work, but I think maybe you should um, go, let's see, offer friendship first too young uh, Chester and where's the ball I give the ball to Chester maybe we can go uh, we'll go play fetch or pet commonly there we go this should be fun. Um, oh, more errors. Ugh. What can we do? Can we play? I think uh, Chester is going to be Monty's like spirit animal here. He's going to be his his best friend. Chester has a very John Wayne-esque gait. He does a little bit. Oh look, the tennis ball is all chewed up. Does he need to go potty again? Go on, go outside and go potty. Do you also need to go potty? Go on then. When is work? Two hours, okay, we've got a little bit of time. Um. Oh, your cake is still out here, actually, Monty. Finish the cake you started. Um, I wanted to take the dogs for a walk, but I'm not sure you can while they're puppies. Can Monty be friends with um, the other one, Sweetie, as well? Oh, he can. Okay, we're going to take them to the vets tomorrow and have them unneutered, I think. Uh, okay, teachers run out to pick up medication, left a reading assignment, do some homework, it's a better use of time. Teacher's still not back, so it doesn't matter, she'll do a reading at home later. Good work, Eleven! It looks like Sweetie is loyal, anyway. That's one of her traits. We don't know what the other ones are yet. But, um, oh, it's quarter past ten. Well, we'll do this work day. I'm going to fin aim to finish up around half ten, so. Oh, actually, we have to do the birthdays when we get home and age up Polly and Hester. So once that is done, that's that's how we'll finish today. Let's see, analyze a crystal, mind control, co worker to clean. Let's go analyze a crystal. Um... A diamond. A diamond's a crystal, right? Oh, you can't do it because this loser is using the machine. Listen, you. Get off my machine. Oh, actually, he wants to mind control someone to clean. Let's not freeze you. Let's, um... Let's mind control you to clean. That's probably a little bit nicer. Will we get a promotion today? I think we might. And now we can analyze our diamond. These are relatively easy work tasks today. I'm a little bit suspicious. And water a plant. Like, this is easy. Invent a sim ray. We've done that before. So, why not? Um... What does a sim ray require? Common metal and common crystal. Read a book. Like, these are easy. 
Don't think Sweetie is spayed, only Chester's neutered. Great, we only have to take Chester to get um, unneutered. I'll do that today as well, because if I leave that till the next session, I'm going to completely forget about it. And, um, you know, that, that'll just be a pain. I'll be trying to breed them for years, and it won't get anywhere. How many's in our family now? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We're quite big, actually. Okay, we've made a new sim ray, and, and I think we can just sell this one and make a load of money. Yeah, there we go. Now contact aliens. Okay. Hoping this doesn't result in another alien baby. But, I don't know, start a neighborhood hive mind. Okie doke, let's uh, bladder epidemic them. Bit of mischief. Mix synthetic food. Easy enough. Oh god, look at the rush for the bathrooms. It's a good thing Monty doesn't need to go yet. I hate using this chemistry lab though, because he keeps going disastrously wrong with it. Oh, it worked! Wait, did I see that right? Oh no, Polly only got a B. Sorry, I thought it said she got an A, but she didn't. B is quite good though. It's good enough. Let's go just have a snack then. Go get yourself a sandwich, Monty. Your work day is uh, almost at an end. Invent a cloning machine. What? Can we do that? Oh, we need another common crystal. Okay. I think I want a cloning machine. Terry's spirit is fading away. Well, all right. We found Furium. I don't know if that's a common or uncommon metal. And a time capsule. Let's just get whatever's buried here anyway. Are there any any of these uncommon metals? That's common. It's rare. No, nah, it's not uncommon. Well, we'll dig for treasure. Okay, we've got money. So. We didn't get promoted. We'll get promoted next time. But, yeah. It, but the last, like, ten minutes of this stream, we are going to age up the kids and unneuter the dogs. The dog. Okay. So, first things first, where are you? Why does Polly always appear over there? Oh, she's not aging up yet. It's tomorrow. It's still one day away. Okay, well, we'll make a cake so that we have one ready. And is it Monty's birthday as well? Oh, God. Tomorrow is going to be a birthday bonanza. That's We'll cook a um, white cake, because we haven't done that kind yet. And we'll keep it on standby for tomorrow. Come on, Monty. Mix. Bake. And what we'll do is we will... Just to make sure nobody eats the cake in the meantime. I'm going to, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm going to take it out and, uh, add candles to it. And then put it back in. And now, who has energy? Not you, anyway. You. Oh, it might have to be Monty, actually. Does he have an 
We don't even have enough for sleep replacement. Okay, go to sleep, Monty. Hester, are you starving again? Of course you are. You're always starving. The permanently hungry baby. Okay, well, once midnight comes, that's not going to matter so much anymore. Um, oh, no. Here. Stop playing in puddles, you. Can a teenager take animals to the vet? I don't know. What would it be under pet care? I don't know. Yeah, it's only Chester we need to take. Well, um, here, let, let's take him. Or to travel with Chester. To here. Who asked, wasn't it a crystal I needed? Uh, yeah, we did need a crystal for the cloning machine, but also metals for um, the wormhole generator. I'm trying to invent both of them, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking for both. Um, we will still do bir birthdays this stream because we're very close to it. How do we do this? Are no pets eligible to sign in? No, come on, there is. How? Oh. Okay, maybe we have to wait until he's older. That's fine. Um, we'll take care of that next stream then. We'll go home and just have birthdays for Monty and the kids now. These pets, it's, it's very hard to know how to do anything with them. I suppose that's probably part of the fun of the pack, all this discovery stuff, but it's very stressful. I'm, I'm not sure my blood pressure can take it. Okay, we're back home anyway, and you can go to bed. It's nearly midnight. I think Polly will be first to age up. Maybe Hester. No, Hester got fed somehow. Okay, that's fine. Where's where's our cake? Oh, there it is. Okay, it it doesn't look particularly white, and it looks a little bit mouldy, but sure, it it'll be fine. Here we go. Oh, it's midnight. It's the same days till age up one. Um, okay, let's hang on to it a little while. Wait, I want to wait until it ticks over to say zero. Okay, Hester is of um, age upable age. So let's let's do Hester. Let's um, how do we do that? More choices. Help Hester to blow out her candles. She's going to become a child. The end of toddler hell too. Here we go. What's she going to look like? What trait will she have? The mystery is about to be revealed. Oh. Oh, she doesn't look too bad. She looks okay. Uh, we're going to add the candles back on. What's her trait? She is active. Oh, she's the opposite of her two sisters. Hester is breaking the trend. I like her hair as well. Okay. I actually like you, Hester. Maybe maybe you'll be the heir after all. Who knows? Um, okay. Who's next? Polly. Here we go. We're reusing the cake. I'm not I'm not baking another one. Polly, let's see what your teenaged form looks like. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. And boom. Oh, Polly looks okay. Um, I have a feeling she's going to balloon up really suddenly, like her sister did. She's a cat lover. What does she look like? I think she might have the evil eyebrows, though. Um, and her new trait is cat lover. Ooh, that's awkward. We're kind of a dog house. Um, okay, let's add your candles on anyway and get your dad out to celebrate his birthday. Auntie, it's birthday time. Prepare to enter middle age. Oh. Boom. There we go. He looks the exact same. Maybe we'll give him a middle aged makeover next time. Um, I don't know. I want to get a look at um, Polly's teenage outfit, though. Just before I finish. Hoping Polly doesn't balloon when I go in here. No, nope, she does. Okay. Um, God, pretty wide hips as well. We need... We'll... We'll get her some exercise next time. But she is a uh, cat lover, right? So I think there's a jumper with cats on it that she can wear. This one has other animals on it. I think they're meant to be like Pokemon or something. Oh, look at this. No, she needs a cat version. I don't like the brown of it. I think it might be a little bit too much. Is this one ah. cattered? Oh, look. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. There we go. We just need to give her like some jeans or something. I think she can have these jeans because they look a bit cat scratched or something. And then we can give her some nice shoes. Some, um, I don't know, I like these. Maybe. Ah. No. Yeah, they're a little more. Or no, some kind of runners. Um, oh, look. If we get these in the right colour, maybe. Actually, I think purple works. It kind of matches her face. Formal. I think we're going to lose the sunglasses. I'm sorry, Polly. I like your hair, though. I mean, we can keep the hair. Um... Body-wise, um, okay, we need to get her a kind of cool, I think, alien-y looking dress, maybe? Um, it's kind of hard to tell when she's like this size, but that kind of suits her, I think. And if we go into the accessories and give her like gloves, I think. That works quite well. And maybe she needs some kind of necklace. Okay, there's her formal wear. Her athletic wear. I think... Should we give her the full-on alien thing? Or the normal thing? I think... Maybe um, something like this. And then give her tracksuit bottoms. Yeah, and then her shoes, kind of black runners. Her pajamas, I think, is there some kind of like, I don't know, pajama version of her everyday outfit? That kind of works. And it's a shame there's no like cat slippers. I think, um, okay, yeah. We get these in a purple. That'll do. Party outfit. Oh. This is okay, I guess. Different colour. Maybe make it look a bit more spacey. 
Make the boots darker. Maybe she needs more accessories like um, bracelets. Maybe not the socks, someone's asked. Um, okay, um, Amy Lupin says in the rules it says it's okay to use create a sim to change anything about a sim. Um, yeah, I still I wouldn't be comfortable with it. I, I kind of I like the randomness of genetics. I think it kind of adds a fun element to it. So I, I'll probably just I'll, like I'll play what I'm what I roll basically. Let's give her these uh, bracelets. No, it's too much having them on both wrists. I think that's enough. And her swimwear. Maybe we can. This is a little bit more space age looking. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that works for Polly. She needs bling. I think she does need a little bit of bling. Um, what we'll do, we need to get a like better look at what these kids would look like without their terrible cake addictions. Um, do we have any aspiration points left over here? I think you can get like a sort of instaline. Yeah, it's 750 points though. That might be better off spent on something else. Like she could also use that to uh, get like free services or something instead. So no, we're going to have to do it the hard way. Polly, get on the treadmill. I know they're lazy, but it's going to have to be this way. And 11, let's sell this painting. Why don't we? But okay, um, I think that's enough for today. It's um, after half 10, so it's pretty much my bedtime. I have to get to work tomorrow. Sam to the Jane says, suggests maybe I don't feed Hester so much cake. I agree. Maybe I should cut back on the whole uh, cake thing. But yeah, actually, I never checked what's Hester's aspiration. She's motor aspiration. So she's going to be keeping fit anyway. I think Hester has a good chance, actually, of being my... Oh, she didn't get the happy toddler thing, though. Oh, I think she was one short on one of her skills. Well, I don't know. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I think that's enough for tonight. So I'll finish up now. I'll be back on Sunday at half eight to continue. And um, hopefully we'll... I don't know what'll be next. We'll get try to get Monty to the top of his career. I think that'll be doable in that session. Or, well, at least get him to level nine of his career. Um, we'll try to get the girls in better shape. We'll get a portrait of Monty done. We'll expand the house. That, you know, we'll do all the stuff. Um, so, hope to see you all there next time. Uh, goodbye.